Welcome to Addition to the Wild, saltwater and freshwater fishing. Do this, y'all. Big cheap head. This what you talking about? How we get it down? Look at that, boy. Got some blood on me. Some good fishing. Oh, y'all stay tuned. Hey, what's up, y'all? This your boy Les, and just to the wild, what up, y'all? A lot of folks out there was asking about sheep heads. How do you fish with sheep head, and what type of rigs, and how you do it? All right, y'all know me. I gotta show y'all out there, okay? What we're gonna do is show you what type of line. Now, I use Berkeley Danish line. Now, you saw why I picked it up at Walmart. You saw why I picked it up at Walmart, all right? Now, it's 20 pounds, and you use the Venice line is really good. I like I like the Venice line on all my fishing, really. You know what I'm saying? That's me. The Venice line is really good, and they can't really see through the line and all that stuff. So some fishes. When they see the line, they kind of like, oh, I don't want to pick with it though. But she paid too much, don't give a hell about that. That's she paid though. But I like using Venice, Venice line. Venice line is good for good fishing. And especially if you want to be a, a better fisher, professional fishing, start using that line, all right? Okay, now, what type of hook do I use? And this is the hook I have. It's the owner hook. It's the light circle owner hook I use right here. It's a number one, as you can see. Now, this is a good hook right here now. The reason why I like this hook, if you have a J hook on, and J hook, you gotta set the hook. This, you don't have to set the hook. When they hit this hook, it basically snatch them up on the side of their mouth. That's the reason why I like this hook, because it's more easy to use versus J hook. J hook, you gotta set the hook. And sometimes J hook, when you set the hook, it depends where that hook is, because if they teeth right there, they got like a human teeth like, and they go in their teeth, you're not, you're not gonna catch them, but right here, when they take the um, bait a little bit, they set the hook on their own self. So that's the reason why I use this hook. And it's a little bit easier, especially if you're a little beginner and you're trying to figure it out, I would recommend you use this hook. The J-hook, you need to use J-hook. I'm not got nothing wrong. I still use J-hook sometimes to see what the situation is or if I don't have no more of these hooks, but you got to know how to do it on the J-hook. And that's the reason why a lot of people don't understand why they're not catching cheap heads because they don't know how to set the hook right on them, all right? Okay, now, the hookup I use is for the, um, the weight, if it, the, the most I use is three quarter of a weight, but I use three quarter to a half an ounce, and sometimes I use this just a quarter, it depends what the situation is, where I'm at, depending how the um, ties is, depending on other stuff, you know what I'm saying, if the, if the water is really moving, whatever, a little bit heavier. But otherwise, that's what I use. And this is, is a Carolina rig way. This is the type of way I use the weight, the swivel, the line, and then we get down to the hook right there. All right? This is what this is the whole hookup I use. You gotta use this hookup. Some people might say they use a bottom rig. That's whatever they use. If they catch them, I guess they catch them. But me, if you really wanna catch some sheep head, this is the way to go now. Now, what type of pole I use? I use a medium action pole. Medium action pole is very good to use. You feel the bite, you gotta know the bite and all that stuff though. The sheep heads are really, really smart to believe it or not. A lot of people are like, how the hell you catch sheep head? Cause sheep head, you really don't feel them biting, but it's like a little tap thing. And sometimes if you got the J hook, you gotta know how to set the hook. And when you set the hook on that J hook, you gotta set it hard, all right? You cannot set it at that little weak set. set. You gotta really set it hard to catch the um, sheep head cause sheep heads are very smart. Now, a lot of folks ask me now, um, about what what's the best time to catch sheep head on a tide. Now, my thing I like catching sheep heads is when the tide's coming, the tide's coming in and the tide's falling. One of those two. You know what I'm saying? Because because they are moving, um, they go into the rocks, they like rocks, they like um, um, boat docks and stuff like that, structure, anything structure there, they like. Now, a lot of folks ask me, do they be in the marsh? I never caught none in the marsh. All right, if somebody come to Mars, I guess we'll be. I never come to Mars 
to me it's a structure. It gotta be structured and it's like they be there. Now, folks ask me this question though. How many sheep heads be in one area? My thing is this. When there's one sheep head there, I guarantee you it's more. I don't know how many it might be 10, 20, but usually it's one there. It's a lot of them there. They hang together. To me, they remind me of bluegills, croakers, and everything. They all sit in schools right in that little area together. And you go ahead and fish hard with them. All I say, you know what I'm saying? That's the best thing I know about sheepheads. And sheepheads, like I said, sheepheads is a very, very smart fish. And you just gotta know how to feel for them because you, do, you really do not feel the bite. You gotta be patient. If you feel a little, a little, uh, a, a little tug or whatever, and let you know you're there. Now, what type of bait do I use? I use fiddle crabs. Fiddle crabs, I love fiddle crabs. You see fiddle crabs, I go, go to a park, you see fiddle crabs, you see the fiddle crabs? Somewhere like at a beach area, at a, at a, um, um, a beach area, marsh area, go to you see fiddle crabs. Now, fiddle crabs, the best time to catch fiddle crabs when the tides are down low. When the tides get low, go get you some fiddle crabs. All that stuff though. Catch a whole bunch of fiddle crabs. And people want to know, like, for instance, I'm trying to think of top of my head, y'all. How many fiddle crabs do I need? For us, since it be me and my uh, two other boys, since it's uh, three of us, we try to get four dozen. Four dozen of them, all that stuff, because you know what I'm saying, more people fishing, more fiddle crabs you need. All right, and that's what we do. And I think I hit on everything. If I didn't hit on everything, I'll let you know. If you have any questions for me, just go ahead, and let me know, i answer your question, all right? This your boy, just for the wild. Go ahead and go get them sheep heads, y'all. Stay tuned.